hi uh, in this video i would like to show how to use the logging and what is the requirements of logging and applications first what is logging we need to put some statements in application code so that uh, at the time of runtime we can uh, prevent whether the output is correct or we getting any errors while running an application in runtime so already we have a debugging why we need logging again see debugging is also fine uh, without using of logging for standalone or single mission applications if we go for cluster applications at that time debugging is very hard uh, we don't know uh, on which cluster mission the code is uh, running uh, the requests are coming from the clients are going to first cluster machine or second cluster machine so the debugging is very hard in that scenario so if we use the logging anyway logger will emit the messages to the log file so that we can re-verify uh, and recheck how how the application is working and how's the performance or how's the uh, database calls are going even everything uh, we can check by using the log framework we can even configure uh, uh, configure if we have any error occurred at the time of runtime so at the time we need to receive a mail saying that this error happened at that particular time we can even configure those kind of uh, scenarios by using logging frameworks after a lot of search in internet i have found SLF4J is the best uh, logging uh, framework but it is a facade service we have many implementations for SLF4J uh, and also log4j version 1.2 is there we can use uh, any of these logging framework implementations framework like common logging uh, JUL log4j12 or logback all these are implementations of SLF4J um, and also we have log4j2 uh, which has almost every feature which we have in SLF4J so that is your choice uh, of using SLF4J or log4j2 uh, in this video I am going to use SLF4J with log4j12 as uh, if I want to uh, change any other logging frameworks so I can easily uh, change the uh, library jars uh, enough uh, no need to change the code uh, in source files if I use SLF4J as a facade so in this video I, I would like to show SLF4J with uh, log4j12 I have created the similar uh, project structure uh, I took the same from SLF4J uh, website uh, manual uh, I went through this video actually uh, in this video he explained how to use uh, SLF4J with other kind of uh, frameworks here in addition to this video uh, in this video I would like to show how to change runtime logging levels in log4j uh, that uh, that information is not there in this video uh, shown in slf4j.org I would like to uh, add that uh, how to change uh, logging levels dynamically um, uh, in log4j this is the standalone application I have created as mentioned by the video provided in uh, SLF4J here I have POM let's see for the dependencies uh, SLF4J API uh, we need to use for SLF4J to use log4j as, as an implementation uh, we need to use this SLF4J uh, hyphen log4j jar which uh, indirectly depends on log4j jar this is the different dependency hierarchy about whole jars we have mainly two jars actually um, 
uh, SLF 4J, Log 4J, 1, 2 is uh, indirectly uh, depending on uh, Log 4J. If we go for the bounding diagram, Of SLF 4J, we can see that in user manual. This is the binding diagram for SLF 4J to Log 4J. Our application interacts with SLF 4J API uh, classes. Uh, it interacts with uh, adaption layer, uh, which is nothing but SLF 4J hyphen Log 4J jar it interacting with underlying log 4j jar so let's see uh, the code i have one standalone uh, java <coughs> java class here uh, if you see i'm just uh, defining a logger here this logger factory is from slf uh, SLF 4J uh, library. So if you see here, logger as well as logger factory is from uh, SLF 4J package. <coughs> see, but after after defining uh, 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 logger here, whatever the statements I'm using here, uh, either for info, debug, error, trace, and warning. Uh, I'm using uh, log 4j as an underlying implementation so these things will emit uh, to log 4j uh, appenders so I have created property file here I mentioned root logger as all so it will print all the statements initially uh, I am also uh, printing the logs to the file to this file as well as I am printing the statements to the console outs so I have configured uh, my log 4 data properties which is under source directory itself the main part comes here is see I have set uh, log levels to all here in log 4 j properties then I have defined sample uh, log logger uh, loggers here log levels I have created this, uh, five log levels here then if I run as it is it will it will show all these uh, statements as I defined uh, root logger as all then if I want to change these two, uh, say these two all to error or debug, so every time when I change this, I need to read apply the application, right? So that here itself, as our implementation is log4j, I am getting log logger from log4j here. Uh, I am getting a root logger first, then setting that uh, uh, root logger's level to uh, to specific level whatever the uh, level we need at run time that particular level I am setting here uh, but this code is affecting to the log 4j uh, libraries it's not dealing with the SLF 4j libraries but this code what I, whatever I have mentioned this is dealing with the SLF 4j API even this also dealing with SLF 4J API but this we are changing only the root log of log 4J to our uh, required log, log level so <coughs> let me comment this If I run this application, I'm seeing all all the log levels. As I mentioned, in uh, root logger as all. 
if I want to change that dynamically without restarting an application at runtime, I'm just uncommenting this code. So here at line 25-26, I'm changing the log level of log4j to debug. So after this, even I am printing new statements. So so if I change to debug, it should uh, print whatever the relevant uh, levels to the debug. Those needs to be printed after this 25th and 26th line. So let's run. So initially it given all info debug error and trace and warn after I set to the log4j level to debug it is printing info debug error and warn it's not printing the trace let's try with the error See, these are the two uh, these are the lines printed before changing the log level when I set to error level it is printing only the error statement so this is the way how to change the log levels dynamically in the same way if you have a different implementation like uh, uh, <coughs> other implementations of SLF4J you can write the specific uh, implementation code here to change the log levels according to that particular API but this is the basic thing how to change uh, the log levels dynamically so in my next video i would like to show how to change the log levels dynamically in a web application so that here it's a standalone application uh, it's not uh, very clear to understand how to change the understanding the changing of levels dynamically but if we take a web application there we can show clearly uh, uh, how to change the uh, logging levels dynamically thank you thanks for watching